Hello, this is Vampire. For this lesson, um, we're going to be working with the knife right here. Make sure you use a training knife. I'm just using the life blade uh, just for the video's uh, purpose. Okay, be very, very careful. And uh, all right, so the first thing is the technique that I want to cover here today is going to be the close position like this. All right, so if I have my blade out, self-defense situation, and then from here, got to protect myself, I'm going to go boom, like this. So this is, I'm closing the arms, as you can see. So this is closed. So when we're doing something like the Heaven Six arm waving type stuff, it really comes down to close and open, close and open, okay? That's the two basic movements in there. And right now, our focus here is on the close. Now, what is the intention? Why are we doing this in the first place? Okay, so why not do something like this? Boom, 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 boom. Okay, much simpler. Why are we choosing to go here? Well, if you understand the intention here, I'm coming in, boom, like this. This is like I'm coming in for a bear hug. Okay, I want you guys to, to think of it that way because my arms are doing this. Okay, this is a grabbing, coming in close position. So yes, if I'm gonna use this effectively, I need to come in close. If I don't wanna do that, then this is the wrong technique for that. So there are times where instead of staying in medium range, where I could get hit or, you know, hit with some kind of weapon or cut or stabbed, I decide to choose to get in closer. Okay, so then this would be the ideal time to use this technique. Of course, the best thing to do is to create distance and get out, but we don't always can do that. And if that's all you got, then you're very, very limited in a combat situation. So once again, to avoid the medium range, I want to get into close range, then this is a good technique because this, this motion right here gets me into close range. And once I am in close range, you can see both of my arms are here now, and I could use this to my advantage. This is a shield. I got two blocks right here, blockades right here. And then one of the things that I've shown you guys in the past is I would push my punching bag, and when it comes back, I would use my forms to deflect the bag. So if they're trying to come in and grab me or, or worse, I can use this as a blockade. Okay, so even though I'm coming into close range, they may try to um, get the advantage in close range. So I want to get in close range on my terms, not on their terms. So they also trying to do that. And as they do that, I may have to do this to deflect them off. Okay, now you may also decide to use the blade in close range. And if you do, then from here, you might want to practice shh, 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 shh your angles of attack. So the basic diagonals, side to side, but notice I'm doing it with the arms close. Here, diagonal upwards, diagonal upwards. This sets me up for now a stabbing motion into a cut here. I have a wide stance. I'm ready for that close range combat like this. Okay, so definitely practice with the, the arms close. And then of course we could, I could go into the heaven six if I need to at any point. This is not to cause heavy damage. As you can see, it's a lot faster. This is a blender to their face to create that kind of motion space and then I could get away back to long range. So once we make the like a car crash where I come into close range, they come into close range and I'm fighting, okay? And then I may change into a heaven six to cause that pain and distraction on the face just to get away, okay? It's not to be lethal or, or anything like that. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.